After enduring the longest stage in the race yesterday, the peloton were all smiles in Charleville ahead of the shortest. Not that they'll have been fooled, the stage profile would wipe the smile off anyone's face, even yesterday's stage-winning hero, Owen Morton. Typically for the Ross, there was no conserving of energies for the climbing to come, attacks right from the go and a sizeable break group emerged. One of the hardest climbs of the whole race, the Category 1 Connor Pass, was on the menu, but first there was the aperitif of Knocknaboyle Cross, just over 50 kilometres in. Matteo Chigala of Cork Aqua Blue surprised George Fowler of NFTO at the summit to take the points. There was better cooperation as the break hurtled along impatiently towards Connor Pass, but with the Australian national team putting in a huge amount of work behind, they were all back together as they hit the start of the climb. This stunning arena was always likely to be the main battleground of the day. Pedal Heaven RT's James Gullen showed the most fight. He'd already attempted a solo break inside the first half an hour of the stage and had another couple of goes up the pass, which were each eventually reeled in. An elite climbing quartet of Holler, Hamilton, Hindley and the 2014 Ross winner Clemens Fankhauser broke after that and were clear by the summit. Straddley Bike Aid's Holler just found the extra bike length needed to take the KOM. Ireland's Eddie Dunbar was fifth up and Gullen was a second after him. It was literally all downhill from there, a lightning descent, and as it flattened out into Dingle, Gullen jumped clear again and had enough of a gap to hang on up the hill to the finish. A fitting reward for his big digs on the climbs earlier and his careful studying of the route pre-race. A few minutes of a breather on the descent and I managed to, to uh, go straight over the top of them halfway down and it was a drag race because we were all in, stuck in the same gear with that fast descent so just had to turn it as fast as I could and the Ks were um, firing past then just because it was, it was so quick and uh, I'd seen that last corner into it so I went around there and just hung on and, uh, and yeah, got it. So Gullen won it, Aaron Gate of Unpost Chain Reaction is having another positive Ross, he was second and Nicodemus Holler was third. Clemens Funkhauser took a tumble on stage two and can't move one of his hands, but there's nothing wrong with his legs. He is our race leader, three seconds clear of Jay Hindley of Australia and five clear of Aaron Gate. Eddie Dunbar is the highest placed Irish rider in fourth after a great ride today. In the end I had the right legs to, to stay up front and um, the other guys from the GC, um, they lost a little bit of time. So so it's me into yellow at the moment and um, yeah, we will see how long we can keep it. It's another stunning stage tomorrow, 168.2 kilometers from Dingle to Sneem and it's the hilliest so far, four categorized climbs, including the category one, Balahashin Pass, 1762 meters of climbing in all. That's a big day. The race starts on Main Street at 11.